Welcome to Good Taker Lead Code Tutorial. Today we are going to solve longest common prefix coding problem. So write a function to find the longest common prefix string among an array of strings. So the description is very short. Just indicate that the input is an array of strings. So let's take a look at some example to get a better understanding of the problem. So the input is an array of strings. Like this. So this is an example, array of strings. And the goal is to find the longest common prefix. So longest common prefix is a still a string, but the value would be the longest common prefix that a string shared by the oldest string in this array. So in order to find this longest common prefix, our steps to solve this would be look like this. So first, we need to have um, this longest common prefix, this variable. So longest common prefix variable, and we can declare it with the initial value of the first string in this array. So for this example, just AAA. So the reason we can do it here, because like sometimes we have an array, just have a one string. So for that case, this string, the, the string itself is the longest common string for, for this is, for this is string. Because itself, this is um, no other compare. So the string itself is just a longest common prefix for this string. So we initialize with the longest common prefix variable with the first string value in this array. And we can use this longest common prefix to compare with the next string. So we can have a, like a pointer to point to the second string. So we use a current longest common prefix value, that's a AAA, to compare with this AAB. AAA compare with AAB. And we can have a, like a small integer variable, that's a J. So J is pointing at the same place of the character at a two string, and we compare the character one by one. If that's the same, we move the j right forward. So if that's a different, we terminate and uh, get the common prefix. So for here, the common prefix is a a, and we use this a a to update this uh, longest common prefix. So longest common prefix for now would be a a. And then we use a longer common prefix AA to compare with the next string. So we move to the next string. That would be AB. AB, we compare and uh, get that. That would be, we can do the same thing. That I have a J variable and J variable compare to each character, get the common prefix that will be A. So that will be A. And then we need to update this longest common prefix to with a value that's A. And that's A, and we move to the last string in this array. Move to last string in this array. So that's a longest common prefix, the recent and latest update value, A compared with A, A. Because this uh, last string is already longer than this longest common prefix. We know that the longest common prefix has to be the current A, this value, because it's a shorter one. So we can only have the shorter one and the longest common prefix. So that would be A. So now um, the still longest common prefix is A. And uh, we finish it within all the string in this array. And we know that longest common prefix for this array of a string would be A, would be A. So the step is very straightforward. Just uh, declare a longest common prefix and uh, use this uh, longest common prefix string to compare with uh, each string in this array and uh, finally get the, the longest common prefix for the all the string in this array. Just mention that there are some edge cases so like if this input array is an empty array, or if this input 
array is null. For that case, we can simply return the empty string. Empty string. Okay. So let's go back to the coding to solve this problem. So we mentioned we need to have some edge case check. So if edge case check is uh, if the string array, this array is null or this is um, uh, empty array. So the length is uh, zero and the return just an uh, empty string. And then we can declare a variable called longest common prefix. That's a string variable because we already have a edge case check. So the array, the length has to be uh, greater than one for the, if you reach to here. So at least have one string in the array. So we can took that uh, we can take that string value. So that will be strings zero. So we initialize this longest common prefix value and then have a for loop. So start the iteration from the next one. So that i is uh, one, the second element in the array. i is uh, smaller than the strings nones i plus one. And uh, inside this for loop, j is uh, zero. So start from zero. And uh, we can have a variable called a, like a current string. Current string. That's a string we are visiting. So that's a strings now i. And then have this um, while loop to compare the the each character of the longest common prefix and the current string to check if that's still the same. To get the common prefix of the longest common prefix and the current string. So that yj is a smaller than longest common prefix dot nets. And j is also smaller than the current string dot length and the longest common prefix dot char dot and j is the same as a current string dot char at so the j's position at the longest common prefix and the current string are the same. We can increase a j. If after this while the j is a still zero, we can do that means uh, the common prefix, the low common prefix, that's just an empty string. And then we can if we, if that's not a zero, if that's not a zero. So we can update the longest common prefix to longest common prefix dot substring and uh, that's uh, start from zero and to the termination point that's just position. So after that we can return the longest common prefix because we already get the longest common prefix for the all string in this array. Okay, before some meeting, we can quickly uh, check if there are some typos. Like uh, first at the beginning, we have an edge case check. If the array is now array, the, it's an empty array. Pay attention here, like this is an array. So in Java, this is dot nth. So there's no parentheses here. I return the string. And the longest common prefix we initialize with the first string value. And then have this for loop start from the second element in this uh, array. And uh, then inside the array, we have a j as an integer value, zero, start from zero. Current string is a string where at the i's, the 
the ice element of this uh, array. So here, current string. So this condition, we compare while the j is uh, smaller than the longest comma prefix dot length. So pay attention here, like this is a string. So the longest common prefix and the current string, both are string. So the length is a, with a parenthesis. So this is a string um, dot length. Mm, that's a method. So and the longest common prefix j's character and the common string j's character that's the same when you increase a j. And uh, if the j is zero, return empty string, no common prefix. And longest common prefix is not zero, we can update with uh, this substring uh, zero to j place. And finally, return longest common prefix. Okay, click submit. Okay, accepted. So the solution is uh, correct. So we successfully solve this coding problem, the longest common prefix. So this is a coding problem to find the longest common prefix among the string. So by giving some example, we get better understanding. Okay, so thank you for watching. Thank you for subscription to Good Taker uh, YouTube channel. So uh, um, if you have any suggestion and comments, just uh, leave a message on the YouTube or on uh, the website. Okay, see you next time.